Aloha, and thanks for tuning in. So, I kind of wanted to jump on the bandwagon here. I went in and I followed something that I saw Seth Sim and Cardboard Sim do, which was removing the cockpit ex uh, interior in Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you've watched their videos, uh, Seth Sim basically explains how to do it. And here's the visual I have in mind, but you'll notice there's no pop out. And there's nothing you can do about that in my setup. Um, on the sides here, I'm trying to get us nice and level. And because of the way I built my dash, my glare shield, there's still some visibility there. Uh, now, when I shift it a little bit, now my world's a little off kilter right now. So that's about even, but you can still see I've got, now if I extend my glare shield out, it will perfectly cover that. So that's just an extension of the glare shield itself. But on the sides here, I haven't done the, the facades. I haven't extended them up. And I'll move this over so you can kind of see. There's also a little glitch in this uh, method. And if you can see, and I'll move out of the way so I can do this, so I can make sure it's visible from the camera. As I zoom this way, you start to get the outlines of the cockpit itself. So the interior, the actual support strut, is right here, and you're seeing the outlines of it. So as you move your position, like when you're center, you don't see it, but as you shift and you get closer, you're seeing it on either side. And you're trying to make it out there. It's very hard to make out, but there's two distinct lines. But when you're center, you're not really seeing it. Uh, so again, the challenge for me in my setup is the GMS 530 because I don't have a separate piece of software running it. I was running off pop-outs and unfortunately in Microsoft Flight Simulator Air Manager, which is running my gauges, doesn't allow you to stream the 530. The 530 itself in Air Manager requires the pop-out from Microsoft Flight Simulator. So as awesome as this is, it doesn't really do great things for me yet. Um, I am going to build the interior shell. And, and there are uh, pieces, parts already kind of built for this. I already have the facade, the overhead built for it as well. Um, I just don't uh, have it completed. I didn't know exactly how to, or how high to make the windows and whatnot. This will help with that, obviously. Uh, I want, especially when I extend the dash out. But this is going to be uh, a sticking point for me. And one thing I may have to look at is uh, shifting from the 530 to another gauge. There are other, or another display, there are other navigation type displays I could put in. Um, I just want it to fit in the form factor here so I don't have to gut my entire dash again. Definitely don't want to have to do that. <clears throat> uh, I, I kind of like how I have things right here. So, uh, just a quick update. Um, I, I am making tweaks as I go. <laughs> I, I, I think there's definitely room for improvement here. And I have some more tweaks on the way. So, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for sticking with me. I, I, I do want to make some more improvements here shortly and I do have another cockpit that is slowly coming along um, that when that's ready to be shown I shall show it uh, but as always stay safe happy flying out there and if you've got any questions comments concerns please throw them below if you've got any ideas on how to get that 530 in here I would greatly appreciate uh, any ideas that you may have because I'm at a loss so again as always stay safe and happy flying out there